Kit Harrington agrees Game of Thrones ending was rushed but says he didn't have another season in me. We were all so f ing tired, the Jon Snow actor recalled. Five years after Game of Thrones ended, Kit Harrington is finally moving on from Jon Snow and looking back on his breakthrough role. Having previously told Entertainment Weekly that his proposed D.O.T. sequel series about his character had been put on the shelf, the actor has now joined the cast of a very different HBO show industry for its just-premiered third season. And with Westeros safely in his rearview mirror, Harrington addressed a controversial way Game of Thrones concluded in a new interview with GQ. I went in and everyone loved Thrones. I came out and everyone hated it, Harrington said. Game of Thrones was based on George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire novels, a series that still remains unfinished. So while the first five seasons of the blockbuster HBO show had clear source material to adapt, the last three seasons had to arrive at a conclusion based on Martin's notes for the ending he has in mind. As a result, much of the criticism of the final seasons of Thrones boils down to it feeling rushed, eager to reach a conclusion without necessarily laying all the groundwork to get there. Conleth Hill, who played the eunuch spy Master Varys, expressed his displeasure in no uncertain terms to E.W. after his character was unceremoniously killed off in the penultimate episode. You can't help feeling that you failed in some way, he said. Harrington, for what it's worth, agrees with that basic assessment, but he also acknowledges that the show could not have lasted for the extra couple seasons it might have needed to sort everything out. The massive production, which filmed across multiple countries including Northern Ireland, Croatia, and Spain, took a toll on the large ensemble cast, as did their worldwide fame. I think if there was any fault with the end of Thrones is that we were all so entire we couldn't have gone on longer, Harrington told GQ. And so I understand some people thought it was rushed and I might agree with them, but I'm not sure there was any alternative. I look at pictures of me in that final season and I look exhausted. I look spent. I didn't have another season in me. Yet stories will continue to be told in Westeros, even without Jon Snow and the other original characters. House of the Dragon just wrapped up season two and promises two more to come, while the next spinoff, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, is set to debut in 2025.